Hello, DeAndre Smith here, and I'm very excited to teach you how to place decimals in order from smallest to largest. Uh, we'll be doing this by taking the actual decimal itself and putting it on a place value chart. And before we go into the place value chart, we will look at the behavior of the decimal um, from the left side and the behavior on the right side. So without further ado, let's go to the board. First, I will start out by talking about the decimal numeral system. Now, the decimal numeral system is a number system that's based off the number 10. Behind me is a place value chart, which shows the representation of this. Notice in the ones column, whatever your digit may be from 0 to 9, it will be 1 times that digit. As with the tens place, it will be 10 times that digit. If we were to continue going on in the left into positive infinity, you'll notice that the numbers will become larger and larger. On the right side, for the tenths, we have one tenth times a digit from 0 through 9. And for the hundredths, it'll be one over 100 times any digit from 0 to 9. This tells us that as the digits increase going in the right direction, they will become substantially smaller. I'm going to place some numbers on a place value chart. Now, the number 8. Notice that the number 8 has one digit. So the number 8 will only go into the ones place. The number 98. The number 98 has two digits and no decimal point. So therefore, it is comprised of 9 tens and 8 ones. The number 129. Well, this has 1 100, 2 tens, and 9 ones. Okay, the number 1.2. Number 1.2 has a decimal place. So we'll first start off by putting a decimal, and we have a number 1 in the ones place, and the number 2 in the tenths. Number 0.35. Then the number 0.45. Notice that to the left of the decimal point, after every three digits, it composes a new subgroup. Those subgroups are comprised of a ones and tens and a hundreds in its respective group. For example, the ones group starts out with just the plain ones, tens, and hundreds. In the thousands group, it has, well, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousands. In the million group, one million, ten million, hundred million, etc., etc. So the next group after the millions group would be the billions group, and after the billions group would be the trillions group. On the right of the decimal point, it is also grouped in threes. The only thing is that um, on the right, it starts with tenths. So this is your ones group, which is the tenths and the hundreds. In your thousands group, you have thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. And in your million group, you have the millions, ten millions, a hundred millions, and then it goes on to the billions. Now notice, the difference between the left and the right side is the right side has an S at the end. Um, and on the left side, there's a TH at the end, which um, signifies or shows that the right side is the smaller amount and the left side is the larger amount. There are three ways to represent real numbers. The two most popular ones of the three are standard notation and in English. Standard notation are the way we represent numbers on an everyday basis. Um, English is the way we represent numbers as if we are writing a check. Standard notation involves writing a number in its place value representation. So some examples of standard notation would be the number 56, 3467, and 26 hundredths. In expanded notation, it involves writing a number to show the value of the digit. Um, so for example, earlier in the place value uh, representations, we put each digit into a particular group. Well, those particular group represented some value of 10. 
Well, expanded notation shows the actual values in itself with the multiplication involved. So the number 56 is comprised of 5 tens and 6 ones. 3,467 is comprised of 3 thousands, so that would be the same as 3 times 10 times 10 times 10 plus 4 hundredths, which is 4 times 10 times 10 60 plus 7. 26 hundredths, remember on the on the right side of the decimal that involved multiplying everything by 1 over 10, increments of 1 over 10. So that means that 26 hundredths would be 2 tenths and 6 hundredths or 6 times 1 tenth times 1 tenth. In English, we would simply write the number as if we were saying it in English. So, for example, the number 56, well, we'll simply write 56. If we had 3,467, we would write 3,467. Now, on the right side of the decimal, it's, it's slightly different. Uh, we usually take the last terminating digit, and we call the whole number that. So... Because in this case, the digit ends in the hundredths place value, we call this number 26 hundredths. Okay, now we are ready to arrange decimals in order from least to greatest. Our directions say put these numbers in order. So we have 1,456 thousandths, 6 and 5 tenths, 6 and 56 hundredths, and six and five hundred fifty five thousandths. The first step we want to do is to place each number into their respective places on the place value chart. Now one thousand and four hundred fifty six thousandths we know that this is the most because we have a one in the thousandths place. Um, as we know as the digits increase going to the left we know that the numbers become larger. So this is a pure indicator that this is the largest number. Now the smallest number would be 457 thousandths. The reason we know that this is the smallest number is because its leading term, the 4, is the least out of the rest of the four numbers. Uh, this lets us know as well as the, numbers as the digits decrease going to the right, we get smaller numbers. Now the 3 in question would be the 3 in the middle. Uh, well, we know the least amongst all of them would be the 6 and 500 thousandths. The reason we know this is because although the numbers match in the ones and tenths column, in the hundredths column, notice that the zero is less than the 6 and the 5. This lets us know that this number is the least as well as the six and five hundred fifty five thousandths is the second okay so the correct order from least to greatest is four hundred fifty seven thousandths six and fifty hundredths six and five hundred fifty five thousandths six and fifty six hundredths and one thousand and four hundred fifty six thousandths again um, again this video was to serve as a tool to help you when faced with problems um, that asked you to um, arrange decimals in order from least to greatest. Um, as always, additional resources are available upon request. So if you do want additional resources, please email me.